What is up guys, Boulder here, welcome back to some more Pokemon Conquest. So, after last episode, I started recording, uh, or kept recording, started doing some other things, some upkeep, some some recruiting, some evolving, uh, and so the rest of this video is kind of piecing together that, and then deciding to take on Avia. So, a bit of a jump around, do a bunch of things, but... We got a lot happening, a lot of things just kept popping up. So, let's get to it. I heard there's this really cute merchant in the area. I haven't seen her yet, though. Oh, I say, is that is that the young lady there? Good day, I'm a traveling merchant dealing in rare and unique items. Do you care to take a look at my wares? Absolutely. I have 85 grand to throw at you, lady. Full restore purple pony gear increases energy to maximum level. Hachimaki raises attack. The user will faint on the fourth turn. Oh, goddamn. Okay. <laughs> Noisemaker prevents the enemy from using items or warrior skills in the following turn. Okay. Equipment. Large sack collects all items after battle. Disappears after one use. Lucky coin enables the user to find a little more gold than usual. Fog machine prevents the enemy from landing crits. Guardian charm increases strength significantly when last Pokemon standing. Now this, I believe, is the item I've been told about that um, is apparently like the best way to grind a single Pokemon's Link. Increase strength significantly when last Pokemon standing. So, we'll buy, I don't know, four of them? What else do you sell? But you should sell all the, let's see, Protector, Metal Coat, one, two metal coats. We have a Scyther, and I think Steelix would be cool. Reaper Cloth. I'll buy just to have, I guess. Razor Claw is... Here's the probability of attacks hitting enemies' weak spots. Okay. Waterstone, Thunderstone, Leafstone, Moonstone. I think I need two of those. Uh... Oh, we're, we're going broke right now. I want a Leaf Stone. Sun Stone, Dust Stone, Shiny Stone. Get at least one. Dust Stone. Dawn Stone. Pokemon's the neat Dusk Stone that's in this game. Oh, I guess Chandelure? Which, again, we were talking about fire types. We currently only really have Flareon. And Chandelure could be neat, but we've never seen one. Sunstone? No. I'll get a dust stone. And now we're broke. 86 grand. I mean, there's a lot I could sell. Okay, so selling all of our, like, sellable garbage that we pick up. Uh, we're back up to 11k. Um... Charm, lucky coin, large sack. This Hachimaki looks a consumable, not an equipment. Single use. Mm. Using items or warrior skills. I feel like that's something. I don't know. Knowing that Nobunaga. It's just running around with a Zekrom. I feel like that could be the cheese item to save us someday, if I remember that it's there. And then the last one, I think we're gonna do... Disappears after one use. Or an evolution item. You get another fire... What do all evolves? Firestone, Vulpix, Eevee, Growlithe, Monkey? The, the, Simi Sage? Pan Sage? Or not Sage, but, you know, the, the Simi? Seer? Right? Yeah, but, like, do I really care about the monkeys? No. <laughs> uh, Razor. There's no Razor Fang. Razor Claw is Sneasel. I was wondering Gliger, Sneasel, Fang. Okay. For Weavile. That could be cool. Protector for a Rhyperior. I mean, we already have a dude with a Rhyperior. 
Thunderstone, Raichu. I do like Raichu. I'll buy another Shiny Stone, Minchino, and Togekiss. If that's in this game, I think Togepi's in this game. Maybe not. I don't. Sunstone, no, Blossom, Sunflora. I don't know what else uses a Sunstone. We got the two Moonstones. I don't think we'll need more Moonstones for anything that I'm looking for. I feel like I'm gonna buy another Razor Claw. One to use as like a, that seems like a decent held item. And then one for evolution. Okay. Traveling Merchant coming through, giving us the goods. Well. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a shot. We're just going in solo Eevee. Arty Chum is flashed. Whoa, so it's not e it's it's not just attack, it's like everything. We do 94. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That's kind of insane. 89. So do we get extra sync from this at all? Or this is a wild, wild battle. Just two wild mons, one percent, like a whole percent from just killing two things super quick like that. Okay. Well then, I bought four. I don't know if I really needed four, but I did. <laughs> Uh, all right. And now that we have the metal coats, there is a scyther over here. Um, I'm probably gonna look around, see if I can get, if I own the scyther and onyx perfect sync pair. A lot of cool things just opened up now. I'm excited. Okay, so with this lovely guardian stone thing that we got, um, this EV is now 72% Link, which could give us a uh, Espeon or Umbreon, but with the ability we got, I didn't want to make either of those. We are making my favorite boy. We are out here in Greenleaf. Something's happening to EV. Yes! Gotta love Leafeon so much. So, Leafeon here uh, gets run up, which we know about run up. So, hell yeah. Look at him. Gotta love him. Leafeon, it's weird, but it's even greater strength from you now. You get the same feeling. Let's say friends, Leafeon. And uh, so, what we could do now is stronger because of our, our link. Far stronger than <laughs> only by by a bit, like 72 for 69. Um, so it's 431 strength, 467 strength. But having a look see here, you can see Leaf Blade, so we get run up. Leaf Blade, which is high crit ratio with 200 attack. I like that. Uh, I mean, AV is the next kingdom, so like, we're not gonna use Eevee there, or Leafeon there, but we have Leafeon and I'm happy about that. Which should also mean when we end the month, and yes, yes, everyone does their training, another Eevee should pop up, right? Oh, maybe not, or if, if one does, maybe it doesn't announce it after the first time maybe the first time is whenever it shows it uh, or like actually makes a spectacle of it and anything beyond is just you find it yourself or maybe it just won't pop up again at all 
check all of them. Just to, just to see. There's a sand dial trainer there I've never seen before. Gonna go grab him. Um, but no. Doesn't appear to be any Eevees around. Unfortunate. So maybe it will. We need to try and recruit that guy. There's a lot with him, though. Um, so maybe if one, if and when one does appear, maybe it'll announce it. I don't know. Time will tell, I guess. Going to recruit that sand dial dude made, uh... Munashige Staravia become a star raptor. So that's cool. He's strong, 438. What is star raptor, uh, Rhyhorn? And a Rhydon as well? We haven't seen Rhydon. We've seen Rhyperior. Okay. Very cool. Um, I also just realized both of those evolutions are in the tiny screen. Because last I said something, we were looking at the bottom screen. Um, which we're going to continue to do. Info to see Staraptor Brave Bird. Oh. The user is weakened for one turn instead of taking damage. Okay. But... So it hits those three and then lands. Okay, it's a strange shape. Uh, ride on. Drill run, one away. Okay, so it's, it's one away and then walk forward. Also, I don't think we've ever really shown Fortress. Fortress doesn't really do damage. Just one damage. <laughs> um, it has a lot of defense. Gyro Ball. The slower the user, the greater the damage. But. Yeah, it's still not great. It has Jagged Edge. That's Jagged Edge with a mirror would be nice to use, but beyond that, offensively, I don't, I don't know about all that. But yeah, that's Fortress. <laughs> Charizard. So many evolutions happening. I just happen to still be recording, so I could pop in and be like, "Look, fanciness." Okay. Uh, Charizard. 70% links, not like their best pairing, but like you're here. Flamethrower, that looks good. I like shapes like that, just lines. Um, without having to like weirdly position. Okay. Cool. With 140 attack. Goddamn. Okay, okay, so two things at least are gonna happen from this battle, but I also wanna see, Kadabra has gotten, while I was getting Leafy on, uh, Kadabra has gotten to 60%, which he needed 55% to try for this Alakazam evolution. Um, and it just mentioned, let me, let me go read it again, because it was weirdly worded. But score a KO that makes a warrior offer to join your army. So there is a warrior here. It is the Magikarp dude, Takeyori. So Kadabra is gonna try to run out to Takeyori. Oichi has the Moonstone that we bought from the trader. And Swadloon is 66% and needed 65%. Um to evolve into Levani. So, we're getting a Levani, we're getting a Wigglytuff. Will we get an Alakazam as well? I don't actually know. But hopefully we can find out. So let's see, Psych, or Psy Beam, 81, oh that, yep, that should, okay, just straight up kill. Unless we low roll. 89, wow, okay, super high roll. Didn't even hope to live. Okay. That was the kill on someone who should 
ask to join us if we so choose. Um, I will probably recruit him just in case we need to. It just says offer to join, so we probably don't need all that, but just to be safe. A little bit there. We crit the bird. Okay, Leafeon, do your thing. Potion. Sure, we don't need the Guardian Charm right now. Um, and then we'll just end the turn. And speed things along. Everyone has done, th done something. Which is all we really needed to happen. Um, so Jigglypuff, we're gonna smack from the side. We're gonna... Razor Leaf, miss. Okay. We're gonna Leafeon. 103 on the Leaf Blade run up. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, and then Gyarados. 171 on the Wild Meowth. Get out. So, we're guaranteed to get two evolutions right here. There's a Guardian Charm. I guess because we swapped them. It's like, yeah, you got a Guardian Charm. So it's going to ask... We'll say yes to Takayori? I suppose. Like, again, just, just to be safe. I don't think I have to. If this is the criteria for Alakazam, I don't think I needed to. But, um... Do I have, like, a, a one slot open? I mean, I do have a place that's completely empty. You know what? Here you go. Alright, something is happening to Jigglypuff. So, Angry Jigglypuff becomes... Angry Wigglytuff! Hands on her hips! Look at you! Okay. Wow, congratulations! It did work! Alakazam! Oh, I really, I should have looked at Psybeam. Or Psychic. I see it. Okay. I mean, we, we actually, we've seen Psychic from Gardevoir. I think I like Psybeam's shape a little better, but this still isn't a bad one. Whoa, I like it. I sense an even greater power from you now, Alakazam. You know what I mean? I've got real high hopes for you, you know. That's a perfect link, Alakazam. 405 on our strength. Okay, and then Swadloon. I love you, Swadloon. But your time is now. Angry Levani running up. We finally have Bug Stab. I believe Levani gets X Scissor. What a birthday present, and it isn't even my birthday. The special feeling between us has grown strong, Levani. You know what I mean, right? Fantabulous! I'm feeling pretty excited. Uh, okay, and then we are going to swap over here. So, Wigglytuff. Uh, Hyper Voice. No double slaps. Attack's still not great. Honestly, the attack is still very low. Um, like we compare, Persian is 101. The Hyper Voice attacks all around like Discharge. Um, horribly echoing shout, the power to inflict damage. It, honestly, it's still probably better to use Persian, but we'll give Wigglytuff a shot. Might as well, right? We just got it. But there's Wigglytuff. Um, Alakazam 199 attack. Compare that to, like, Gyarados. 188. 200 on Leafeon. 199. 179 speed. Psychic plus 3. Life Force, 60%. Oh my god, okay. I'm excited to see the damage come from you. Um, and then, well, we also know Psychic, uh, it lowers the enemy's defense, which is awesome. But then Lee Vanny. Which, with X Scissor, it's the that X shape. I I quite like, because uh, it's not like one away and then, so we can run up, it'll be the one here, and then we just gotta, we can worry 
about not hitting our own uh, with X Scissor and Swarm. So low HP, increased attack. X Scissor just in general. Uh, oh, it doesn't even say high crit for X Scissor. Maybe X Scissor is not high crit to begin with. I feel like I feel like I always mix that up. Either way, it's X Scissor, so like cool as shit. Uh, 117 attack, not the highest, but it's leave any, so like that's neat. 137 speed. Okay. Go. I like I like the look of our team right now. We'll leave any if it gets to be a problem. I mean, it's gonna be our second lowest attack. But I think ultimately we should be fine. Everyone else seems to just have shit loads of attack. Um well, fire runs even higher. 212 at a lower sink. Okay. But there we go. That's the team. Um, that's pretty much all the grinding I'm gonna end up, or gonna be doing. Um, I'm recording this right after last episode, but I think this is going into the Avia episode. So, I think I'm going to go get our, our energy levels up with some Ponigiri, and we are going to tackle Avia. And um, I'm hoping that while I'm doing so, maybe Avia will take over Lucio so I can actually see what the map looks like before we uh, we take over Avia. That would be nice. Another thing I wanted to touch on real quick, because I'm going to evolve it just to see. So Mana. I mentioned in passing that Mana's kind of worthless. Um, Mana doesn't... Mana has an attack but doesn't do damage. Has Hypnosis which is a two thing and then ability is deep sleep. It restores HP while sleeping, which is okay, whatever. But that's, that's mana. Uh, it's adorable and like sleep is handy at the very least, but that's that's all mana's for. Um, I have mana on Satamitsu, which is the perfect link for mana. And uh, it's a moonstone evolution and I did buy two. That's why I bought two. So time to evolve, hold on. Well now, what's going on, Mana? I also just got a second Embor. <laughs> oh god, I keep... Okay. Something about its feet are uncomfortable that I didn't- I didn't realize it had feet. That you could like actually see the separation. It's not just like a floating bean. It's got hands and feet tucked up under there. That I've never seen before? What the fuck? Um... So now has Dream Eater. The user eats the dreams of a sleeping target. It absorbs half the damage caused. Uh, has ability Calming. The Pokemon can send nearby enemies to sleep. Okay. So it's it's like lullaby with Dream Eater, but only can only attack if calming procs. So if it's anything like lullaby, it's RNG. Still doesn't seem like a great mod, but like interesting, at the very least. Um, and I don't know, it doesn't have a whole lot of attack, but maybe Dream Eater. I mean, it's a four-star move. Okay. Well, there's Mushart. <laughs> Alright, well, AV is not biting, so... R.I.P. Trying to, uh, see the, the electric... Electric? The Psychic Gym map. We're gonna fly out to Elusio, and, uh, we're taking Avia on. So... Masamune is the leader here with a Braviary. We'll swap back over to this screen. 380 Strength. Um, sky Drop. Takes the target into the sky. Drops next turn. Okay, so two turn. Yep. Kenai. Sure. Masamune has Bustle and Awakening. Magoichi. Crack Shot and par Paralyze Heal with a Carnivine. The Vine Open Levitate is... Carnivine does. We had before. Uh, okay. Kagetsuna with a Starly. Wing attack. Keen. Or quick attack. It's a Starly, not a Staravia. Quick attack. Kenai. 
with Fortify, raise defense, okay. Bustle on the Staravia, which has wing attack and hero. Okay, we've fought a few things with hero. Just gonna get a boost whenever we bully something else. Of a goal bat with interference. Ooh, okay. Uh, you also have adrenaline, raise the attack for three turns. All right. And Iroha with her rufflet, wing attack, keen eye, and added bonus, increase the probability of inflicting status ailments on enemies. But you don't... Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Well. It's time. We're gonna test out uh, Wigglytuff, Levani, and Alakazam for the first time. It, I think I swapped back to Flareon. Because I definitely don't want Leafy on here. Avia, well, it's only lots of flying-type Pokemon. Electric-type, rock-type, and ice-type Pokemon are effective against flying-type Pokemon. But ground-type attacks don't work at all, so do be careful. We don't have any. So all is good. God, look at this team. Look at the strength differential. <laughs> Let's stick a reputation on our victory. Get all fired up. All you want. All right. Ooh, fancy. Even like the, the bottom screen there, the little, little kingdom in the clouds. Near Poldu, right? The one who's too dumb to see that there's no point finding against Nobunaga. Masamune, please. Can't you see that there's a lady present? You can't talk like that. My lady, looking at your beautiful face, why I feel like I'm floating above the clouds. We're all floating above the clouds up here, you imbecile. <laughs> I've had enough of this. I'm going to I'm going to the battlefield. Don't keep me waiting. Sorry about our warlord, his temper is a bit, you know, short. Of course, of course. 20 turns. Okay. So, is this going to be a standard route? Ooh, look at the mouth. Oh. Launch pads. Non-existent bridges. Okay. Defeat all enemies. Well, what do you think? Pretty nice view, huh? My favorite battlefield in all of Renze. And one day it's going to be me, not Nobunaga, who unites this region. Not unless you start pulling your weight, Magoichi. Okay, okay. Man, he's a terrible boss. Okay, those are rock some rocks. O okay. 20 turns. What's stopping me from just having you come to me, you know? Oh, you're a flyer? Of course. Oh! Okay! Boop! Boop! Oh, there's no space, I guess, for Flareon? Alright, alright, that's fine. Alakazam! They're flyers, so they don't really have to worry about anything. I feel like my my best play is to just kind of stay put. But... Oh, hey. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's break this rock. Emerald Grace. Uh, speaking of, I forgot to put items back on Flareon. I, I think it's a potion. Okay, we're gonna break that rock. Because we can, I guess. Okay, good Gyarados, you go over here. And Wiggly Tough, you go right there. So, I don't know, I feel like I'm just, I should just speed up this turn because, again, he's so far away, nothing's happening. Alright. There we go. 
It begins... Uh, where's my cursor? There we go. We just run right on in here. Oh my. Well, sure. Bye, Saravia. Defeat him. Well, I won't lose next time. Okay. Oh, that explains my confusion. Okay. So... Suppose, uh... Benny, put over here. Um, you know what? I'm not gonna shoot over there with Alakazam. I think we're just gonna we're just gonna chill. Have them come to me some more. They're probably gonna bully Gerda. Well, actually, they can't stand in the void. Braviary, not gonna sky drop Gyarados, huh? Okay. Attack plus. Poison Fang crit. Oh, fuck you. But even a crit was only 29. Okay. Bridge is, is down. Frighten. And Braviary turned their back on me. So, uh, 73 damage. 75 with a high roll. All right. Uh, Wigglytuff. 36. So that's fairly respectable. So Carnivine is hiding down here. Hi. Um, can I reach you with... Yes! Yes, I can! 58 damage. I like it. Alright. Um... Now, Galvantula could probably just straight up kill you, right? Not quite. Now, please do not uh, paralyze Flareon. Okay. Now, I'm curious. Ten. Okay. Just wanted to know. Flareon, finish off the Golbat. I never thought I'd be defeated, I must say. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> All right. So, Braviary, are you gonna attack me? Are you gonna sky? Okay, you're gonna sky drop Wigglytuff. Got it. Starly gonna quick attack Gyarados. Carnivine accuracy up is gonna go and attack, doing 20 damage. I mean, it's cute. Okay. Brighton, speed down, range down, light force, give me that HP back. Can Levani pick up the gift for me? No. Alright. Clarion. And you know what? Where where are we going from here? Sure. Uh oh yeah, yeah. I was like, make sure I don't hit. Wigglytuff. Well, Wigglytuff couldn't be hit to begin with. Okay, and then... There we go. Just trying, trying to get there. 123. It's like, if we one-shot a Staravia, we can one-shot a Starly, too. It's all part of the bigger plan. Okay. Two mons left. 31 damage. God, I just realized how fucking thick... I mean, Jigglypuff has been thick to begin with. Jigglypuff has had loads of HP this entire time. But now evolved... What's your max HP? Uh, 261. Very nice. Okay. I'll do 59. Crit and kill. Never mind. Look at you. So bit all you want. I'll have my revenge. All right. Well, an awakening. Gyarados, get those goodies. 
And let's see, Livani. 109. Everyone getting a piece of something, this, uh, this map. The treat is as important as a battle strategy as any other. Maybe a castle is ours! Okay, we washed them. Um, part of it is because of all the evolutions we just got, but... That was... God, that was a wash. <laughs> there we go. But even some of the other maps we have fought... I mean, we've never had this big of a differential. But even some of the others where we thought we were high enough, it was still kind of a struggle. Hmm. I guess I've, uh, I must have let my guard down. I won't go so easy on you next time. <laughs> Are you really going to go back to Nobunaga, Masamune? I mean, if we are if we were to join Poldu's army. Try and think ahead a bit, Makuichi. If I want to fight for the army that will eventually reunite Ranse, and at that moment, only one army looks capable of doing that. Now come on. All right. I hope to see you again, Poldu. Only one army seems capable of doing that, huh? And why didn't you join it? Mitsuhide with a Lapras. Hi. Very impressive. Would appear that you that no one has yet been able to match you. Mitsuhide, why are you? I heard that someone was attempting to oppose Lord Nabunaka. I decided to come and see for myself who would be so foolish. I'm here to inform you that your current course of action will lead only to defeat. I therefore suggest that you abandon this fall. That is all. That was Mitsuhide, one of Nobunaga's closest aides. There are three of them in total, and they guard his remaining three kingdoms. They're gonna be tough opponents. So let's brace ourselves for battle, Lord Poldu. Okay. And being a Lapras, I guess he guards ice. Battles of one, save your progress, absolutely. There we go. Uh, Valora, Steel, that's a Metagross, oh my god. Spectra, ooh. Okay, Ghost, and then Nixorm, or Nixstorm, Ice, with a Musharna. And some sort of Ugu looking girl in the, okay. Wow. Three more things popping up. Um, I am curious. Anything fancy, Zubat, Rufflet, uh, a Rhyhorn Ninja, Snowy Mountain, uh, I can't look in there. Let me, let me jump to the next month, just to see if, like, KG pops up or something that's gonna prevent me from, like, trying to, to loop around a, for a little bit. Armor. I heard there's this really rare Pokemon in the park in Cragsburg. How about we go take a look? This would be an interesting creature in the park. We're able to challenge the warlords of Valora, Spectra, and Nyxstorm to battle. Interesting creature. It's a farmer. Is this the Eevee? Eevee is back! Okay, it didn't immediately pop up, but it did pop up. Well. I'm getting me another Eevee. I just realized as I was swapping to go pick up the Eevee, look at the map. The map is an Arceus. Now that we have the final part, we can we can see. Huh. I mean, the whole like legend was, you know, unite the kingdoms and meet the Pokemon that created everything created the region. I don't know if that they specified everything. So I didn't immediately think Arceus. I mean, I'll be honest. But, uh... That's cool. And another Eevee is ours. So, with our main team, uh, it seems these, these battles scale to whatever I go in with. So the last Eevee we got was like, 50. Right from the get-go. So what is this Eevee's sync going to be? Uh, if we go start, info, uh, 60. Not bad. What is its ability? Perception. Now, perception, what slot is that? That's, again, a third of, we've had sprint, which turned into our run-up, Leafeon, 
or celebrate was our Flareon. Perception is the middle one. I don't even know what perception does. I have perception. Pokemon can evade moves from its allies. Can evade moves from its allies. That's cool. As far as like things I would want. Um, that turns into Aqua Boost on Vaporeon. Aqua Boost. Boost the effectiveness of adjacent allies' water type attacks. That I don't want. Um, Jolteon. That becomes Vanguard. Vanguard is strengthens attacks carried out at the start of a turn. Huh. Okay. Um. I don't know if I want that. Espeon Umbreon. That's instinct for Espeon. Instinct. The Pokemon uses intuition to swiftly evade enemy moves. Okay. RNG related dodging. Umbreon. Turns into melee. Eh. Okay. Um, so Glaceon, which is gonna turn into stealth. Uh, which stealth? We've seen before. I don't. The stealth. Pokemon can evade enemy moves when on their favorite terrain. Sounds like Espeon's probably our best bet. Uh. It's either Espeon or Jolteon, as far as abilities go. Vanguard seems interesting. Espeon just gets a, uh, a free avoid. Okay. Glaceon, as much as I love Glaceon. Stealth, over the, the other two it gets a Skater or Frostbite. Which, Skater would be, had we not evolved into Leafeon, we would end up with Skater. Which increases range on ice. Eh. Very niche. Um, and then Frostbite, contact with the Pokemon may freeze the attacker. That is the really good one uh, that I would like to have. But um, yeah, either Espeon or, or Jolteon is probably going to be what this, this Eevee is going to be. Which is either 70% Link and then it kills something in a Lucio. Or, again, Thunderstone. Okay, cool. Another Eevee in our possession. Um, but all right. I don't know how this episode came together, considering I've just kind of, I ended the last episode and have just been kind of like, oh, interesting shit's happening and just recording more. Um, so it might just be kind of pieced together. But Avia is ours. And uh, we got three more places to take out. Who's the, who's the strongest one here? Nick Storm, of course. All right. All right, all right. Well. Uh, oh, they can... Just make sure we're not gonna be completely fucked. Okay, Valora cannot reach a Lucio. Kinda sucks, because again, didn't get to see that one, but whatever. All right. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.